Hello everyone, my dear students. Assalamu alaikum and Ramadan Mubarak to all of you. Welcome to my ICT class, that is Information, Communication and Technology. Today, I will take the class of class 7. Our chapter is 3. We will discuss about safe and ethical use. Lesson 19. Later on, you can see the book, page number 39 to 40. My name is Rokaya Banu. I am your ICT teacher from English Medium Senior Section, Sector 7 of Milestone School and College in Uttaradhaka. How are you all, my dear student? Hope you all are fine and staying at home safely as well as you are doing your online classes regularly. So let's start the class. Third chapter, Safe and Ethical Use. Today, first of all, we will know about sensible use. So, if you are asked to cut down a branch of a tree with a tiny stick, you will hardly manage to peel off the bark trying throughout the whole day. But if you are given a sharp chopper, you will cut the branch down with a few strokes. If you use the tiny stick carelessly, you may just be pricked once or twice. But if you use the chopper absent-mindedly, then you may receive serious wounds and bleed. Like this, there are some things you have to do sensibly. Look here, a boy who is used internet in front of everyone and care about no one. Is it good? So, like that, the cutting power of a sharp chopper is more than that of a tiny stick and the careful use of it can successfully get the big job done. But an accident may happen if you abstractedly use it. It is also true to your life and true to the use of information technology as well. Perhaps you can guess that a high risk of danger is involved in its wrong application. So, we know that it is very harmful for a wrong application of ICT. So, we will learn operation of the computer properly, the internet and the information technology. We should use it carefully so that we may not fall in danger. The use of the internet gets priority to the most of the users. Almost all the computers of the world are connected to the internet. And when someone uses the internet in his PC, the whole world seems to be appearing at his room. In this world, there are many beautiful sites where you like to travel in, but there are also some dangerous places where you should keep yourself aloof from. It equally happens in using the internet. Like, there are lots of sites that you can visit, but there are some sites which we should avoid. And there are many beautiful and educative websites where you may easily visit, but there are some filthy websites you should never visit. When you communicate with others by using the internet, you may come across people you are not acquainted with. What if it is revealed later that the main you trusted served the internet with an ill intention? What if you gave him your name, address, phone number and photograph and he used it for a bad purpose? What will you do then? Now we will know about use of internet. The first instruction to be followed by you in using the internet is that you must not give your name, address and password to 
anybody. Communication with unknown people through the internet sometimes may be risky as no one is noticing. You may be unrestrained in exchanging views that may cross the limit of modesty. Why should you tolerate obscenity and filthy things if you are not familiar with your personal life? So, let's see what is the function of communication with unknown people. Communication with unknown people through the internet sometimes may be risky. As no one is noticing, you may be unrestrained in exchanging views that may cross the limit of modesty. Why should you tolerate obscenity and filthy things if you are not familiar with your personal life? Use of internet how is the use of internet here is a picture you can see the boy is angry but we should be friendly while using internet instruction for using internet here are some instruction which is given below to make you understand that how we should use the internet age is regarded as an important factor for every conduct and practice of life Perhaps you have noticed that you like the books written for the grown-up children like you. And books written for adult people may not suit your taste. Even you may be shocked by the subject matter of the book. The same thing may happen in the cyber world. You may be shocked if anything unsuitable for your age comes across you. A feeling of disdain may grow in, in you. Those who use the internet in the computer must follow the three instructions given below. First of all, you must not use the internet secretly. Work sitting in a position from where everyone can watch the monitor. N second one. Never give any unfamiliar person your name, address, and photographs. Third one, use the internet cheerfully. Never harm anybody. Though you stay out of sight, never cross your limit through unrestrained, filthy, or appealing behavior. So, my dear student, what we have learned from today's lesson? First of all, we have learned that importance of sensible use of computer. Second, safe use of internet. Last but not the least, bad effects of not doing the sensible use of internet. So there are some related questions that you should follow to practice for your exam. The question pattern will be same. The question maybe comes in different way. But if you practice the related question from this chapter, then I hope that you will do well in your exam. So related questions are, first question, what do you understand by sensible use? Number second, what should we be careful using ICT? Third number question, how internet can harm us if we are not sensible using it? Four, to be a sensible user, what should we follow? Explain sensible use of computer. Last but not the least, what should we follow for the safe use of ICT? Explain. Sensible use of internet. Here is your homework. It's only for learning. Previous lesson I have given you for learn and write. And this homework you should only learn and practice at your home. Learn the following question answer. The question is write the instruction which we need to maintain when we use internet. So I hope you will do it very well because we have already know about the instruction in today's lesson. So before ending the class, I want to say you something that is last but not the least that you should keep care of yourself and stay at home. 
for get rid of dangerous virus covid 19 that is called coronavirus and as we all know that um, a different uh, ramadan month uh, is going on in this year and hopefully it will change us uh, for the better inshallah because uh, in these days we will be quarantined in our home and we will uh, do our prayer uh, and uh, do all the fasting in this ramadan month because um, we will not go out for our work uh, we should stay at home for uh, getting rid of this uh, dangerous virus so let's quarantine and our minds uh, let's quarantine our minds also sanitize our soul and purify our hearts from all kinds of virus forgive each other and do good to all the people around us ramadan mubarak to all of you wish you all the best for your study that's all for today Thank you, my dear student. Bye-bye.